Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our SQL series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can insert records into a table. So basically, we would be looking into insert a statement of SQL. So let's go to our workbench first. Now in our previous video, we had created this table named as class in which we had three columns, roll number, student name and marks. What we need to do currently is that we need to insert records here. So how we can insert record in a SQL table? So there are two possibilities to write insert a statement. Right? The first one is the way to specify both the column and the values which need to be inserted into the table. Okay, And the second way is that you do not have to specify the column names and you can directly put or add values for all the columns which is present in table. So let's take a look into both of these ways. So first we'll write query when we'll specify the column names. Okay. So the syntax for writing the insert statement is that you will use insert then you will put into insert into table name okay so here my table name is class okay then we currently we are using the column names and their values right so we will put the column names and then we will put the values okay so the column names will I'll directly copy paste this from here roll number then student name and then marks okay now what I have done here for each of the column I have used this comma here to segregate the columns okay now after putting the column names what you need to do is that you need to specify that what you are going to do you are going to input values right so what you will do now you will put here as values okay now after putting this value syntax you again need to open a bracket in which your values will be there so the best way is to you open a bracket and then close it and then within this bracket you write down your values so the first column which we had is roll number right so what I'll do is that I'll put the value here first so my roll number would be 1 okay now the student name suppose I'm putting a student 1 okay so whenever there is a string value or text value you need to enclose it into double quotes okay and the marks would be suppose 55 okay now what I need to do is, is that I have given the values which need to be inserted into table now I'll just close this query with this semicolon I'll highlight this entire query okay and run it I'll run this so either by pressing control and enter or I can go and run it from here so I'll use control enter okay now you can see that it's showing me the error message that no database selected so when I have opened this editor I have not used this database YouTube example so what I need to do either I can run this code and then I can run this query again to insert the values or I can use this YouTube example database name and I can put it here YouTube data YouTube example dot class name sorry uh, YouTube example dot the table name so it's better to use the entire database name than the, the table name now I'll select this entire query and press enter now my query has been ran successfully and you can see here the message is one row affected now how can I see whether my data has been inserted in the table or not so to do that what you need to do is that you need to just write a simple statement of select a statement which is select star means I'm selecting everything 
from the table from table name which is my youtube dot class okay and then semicolon now once i ran this query you will see that this is the value which we had incorporated or inserted into our table roll number one student name is student one and marks is 55 okay now this was the first way of adding the records the second way is that you can directly insert the record without putting down the column names right and to do that what you need to do is that I'll just copy paste this entire query once again okay and I'll paste it here so what I need to do is that insert into YouTube example dot class which is my table name okay I'll remove this entire column names because I know that I have to insert values for every column now I'll directly use values and then I'll put this another record to student 2 and 59 now you have to make sure that you have to input values here based on the columns which are mentioned in your table so if you want to input only row sorry roll, roll number then you won't be able to do that with this one you can only do that with this example where you will only put example sorry select into youtube example dot class and roll number and then you will close this bracket okay and then you will put the value as one only so if you want to insert data for a single column then you won't be able to do that with this query with this insert into example so i'll highlight this query and i'll run it again you will see this one rows affected and if i again run this select query i'll i should see the second record which says roll number as 2 student 2 and marks as 59 so there it is roll number 2 student name student 2 and marks is 59 okay now so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video I'll tell you how you can insert data only for a specific columns which we were discussing earlier that if you want to insert data only for this roll number then how you can do that hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button